Fast API supports asynchronous programming. Fast API supports asynchronous programming. Fast API supports asynchronous programming. Fast API supports asynchronous pro. Fast API supports asynchronous programming. There seems to be loads of different types of Python frameworks you can choose to create an application. With all of these different Python frameworks like Django, Flask, and Fast API, how do I go about choosing the best fit for my project? Well, that's an easy answer. And that's because I most always choose Fast API. Why do I choose Fast API? Well, there's really five reasons. So grab your favorite drink and let's get into it. Starting with number one, it's fast as heck. And I'm saying heck because I don't want the YouTube algorithm to hate me. So Fast API stands out for its exceptional speed compared to many other Python frameworks. This high performance is primarily due to two different components which is Starlight and Pydantic. Starlight is the core of Fast API speed. It handles the HTTP requests asynchronously, allowing Fast API to just serve more requests at the same time. This benefits the applications requiring high consistency and it lowers response times for apps that deal with real-time processing or online platforms. And really that encompasses what Fast API is. But on the flip side, Fast API uses Pydantic for data parsing and data validation, leveraging Python's type hints. Data validation ensures that the HTTP requests that are coming in and the responses that are going out are validated and the data is correct. Pydantic operates very fast compared to other data validation tools. So when you combine them both together, Pydantic and Starlight, this makes Fast API consistently rank really, really high for its ability to handle numerous requests, which ultimately increases Fast API speed. Now, number two, Fast API is pretty easy to learn. It's kind of crazy how fast Fast API is while being easy to learn if you're a developer. You can tell that it was created with developer experience in mind because of just how fast and easily you can implement certain aspects and features. Like one of the most integral parts of Fast API is the auto documentation feature that is created using Swagger. Pretty much every other Python framework, if you want to create API documentation or implement Swagger, you have to do it by yourself. Fast API does it automatically. And the framework itself uses Python type hints and function definitions. And this overall will generate the API documentation and the Swagger UI. And this offers interactive and user-friendly documentation for all of your API endpoints. So if you're wondering like what Swagger is, Swagger is a way for you to be able to test API documents. This aids in testing and debugging and learning about applications, which just makes it easier for like literally every developer that's involved. Now, reason number three is the fast API integration with other libraries and frameworks in the Python ecosystem. Fast API is highly flexible, which allows you to be able to leverage all these existing resources that have already been created. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just use a lot of these libraries and frameworks and just embed it directly into Fast API. For example, Fast API is super compatible with ORMs, which is object relational mapping, like SQL Alchemy, Tortoise ORM, and SQL Model. And SQL model was created by the same guy who created Fast API. So cheers to you, Sebastian. Reason number four is Fast API supports asynchronous programming. All right, let's try and say that five times fast. AP Fast API supports asynchronous programming. 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 Fast API supports asynchronous pro. Fast API supports asynchronous programming. All right, that was super hard to say. If you don't believe me, try it. Actually, drop a comment below saying if you could say it five times or not. The saying is Fast API supports asynchronous programming. Asynchronous programming is a hallmark of Fast API, handling of multiple tasks and data simultaneously. This, in essence, is like a core concept to Fast API's ability to manage high concurrency, which makes it ideal for applications that require real time data processing and quick response times. So, if you made it here in the video, you're learning like the most important part, and that's security, which deals with not only infrastructure or code based security, but authentication and authorization. 
In addition to its basic security features, FastAPI offers advanced security and authorization and authentication. These are options that are essential for modern web applications. This framework integrates security standards like OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect, making implementing secure user authentication and authorization extremely easy. And there's so much documentation and I have so many videos that go over this, whether that's you want to build full stack applications with authentication and authorization, or if you just want to build your backend API, all of these videos are in my channel. So go ahead and check them out. With FastAPI, you can implement complex authentication systems, which is a easy way to set up authentication mechanisms, such as token-based, which is normally JWTs, JSON web tokens, or enterprise-grade authentication systems. You can also easily implement control access and permissions like role-based permissions because FastAPI allows fine-grained control over user accesses and permissions. Now, there's so much in FastAPI here are just five reasons to why you should use FastAPI in the future, and I will see you in the next video.